Uh, welcome back to the Getabri channel, guys. I'm joined by Michal from Hamzad. Hamzad's been around for a long time. Quite a bit, yeah. yeah. It's, at the beginning, it was a Grover Cooperative yeah. company. Established it in 1952, so 70 year anniversary. Yeah. We didn't have time this year to celebrate, but yeah, maybe yeah, next yeah. year you will be invited. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah. Uh, so we have experience. We have people which are working in the company for 30, 40 years. Yeah. They know how something. Yeah. They have a know-how, definitely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we are still now. We are a private company. Yeah. Uh, we are co-owners. There are still a lot of growers, also the owners. Yes. So yeah. we try to get uh, them involved in the industry, that they will also understand the whole thing behind. Yeah. That's. It's not always on their side, but it's also important for the sales side that the yeah. whole things are made correctly. You've kindly given us a tour of the facility here, so we can see obviously the bales behind us of all the hops that have came from the, the cooperative of hop farmers. And you've kindly shown us like the scale of this building. We started in the 14th floor and we worked down. So when the hop farmers produce the bales and they come in here, very quickly take us through the different stages that the processing is involved in. We take over the hops during the contract conditions we do different sort of uh, analysis, oils, alpha, HSI levels, and uh, varieties, uh, checks, and so on. Yeah. Then we put it in the cold place. Yeah. After the recipe is done, so it means we, we see the whole picture. Once we have all the data, we do the recipe. So we try to get the equal lot yes. for the whole, for the whole, let's say, for the whole Celea steering oil, for the whole Aurora. Yeah. But there are some customers which are buying on the kilo alpha or the oil content or the, yeah. or the color of the hops and so on. And then we go through the different stages. We have the bed breaker where we crush the homes yeah. to the small parts, which are then by the conveyor go to the home organization chamber. And you, you, that's just a chamber that creates mix. an even mix. Exactly. Yeah, so that exactly. there's a nice level exactly. blend. If we yeah. have a Tzalea with 4% alpha and we have Tzalea with 2%, we, do, we want to have 3%. Yeah, so okay. Yeah. If the customer require high alpha, then we can, based on the contracts, change also this. During the process, hops, it has a little bit too much moisture for the, for the let's say, for the milling. And for that reason, we dry it out to 8%. Okay. In the process, we try to get rid of the seeds, rid of the metal parts, uh, yeah. dust, whatever. It's in the hops, yeah. and then we bring hops to the hammer mill. Okay. So hammer mill do the basically the powder yeah. of all these cones, and then we do another homogenization because it's really important that we have the stable and the most uh, yeah, the consistency most consistent. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Then we bring to the to, to, to the pelleting machine, where we press the, this powder through the dye. Yes. For the specific variety, it has to be specific diameter of the dye and so on. Okay. And it's crucial point because we we know what the quality means. Yeah. We basically cool down the whole matrix for all the uh, for all the process. Yeah. So we are not achieving temperatures above forty percent, which prevent us to have any losses in terms of oils, alpha, and HSI yeah. level. Yeah. After that, pellets are go to the cooling chamber. Yeah where they go down, the temperature drops to the to the atmosphere level. Yeah. And then we have our sieving, so we get rid of the dust, so the clean pellets will go then yeah. to the packaging, to the scale, to the end, back to the boxes, to the robot, and back to the yeah. cold warehouse. One thing I noticed was the there's nitrogen pushing the yeah. pellets through the dye. Yeah. This and, is the cooling. And, and the idea is to make sure that it, it it's preserving the quality. Absolutely, it, absolutely. Yeah. In the past, this was not done correctly also i am not sure how the other europeans are doing yeah but i think this is really crucial we yeah. learned through the process because we took the sample before and after yeah. the palletizing and we see some oh we are losing yeah and not small amounts of oils and alphas and yeah. hsi level was really high and we put this nitrogen stuff directly to the to the to the dye yeah so we cool it all the time so yeah, yeah so protect, low. Protect yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. I, I also notice you'll see where I was, you know, scooping and pouring out. There's a lot of pellets that you're grading. So as soon as the first runoff comes off, if there's any sort of discoloration, it's just 
yeah, yeah, and yeah, then, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So always striving for that premium quality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is important, and it gives us a little bit more, uh, yeah, security for the future. Because yeah. movies can be tricky, and we don't want to be involved in the bad lots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. And then it's weighed five kilogram bags. Five ten, but yeah. mainly five kilo, twenty kilo cases. Yeah. Uh, 600 kilos pellets yeah. and bring we bring it back to the cold warehouse that yeah. the whole chain is as much time as possible in the cold chain yeah and then ship to yourselves and then on to the brewers yeah wherever the, yeah. wherever wherever they are yeah all over the world really yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. if you're a brewer watching this and you want some samples um, reach out to myself and I'll get them sent out to you um, if you're a home brewer watching this you already know that we have all of these hops on our website if you're watching from outside the uk and ireland and you want to get access to the hops reach out to marco or michal and they'll be happy to help out is that fair to say yeah yeah more, yeah, more yeah. Than fair. yeah yeah um and thanks so much for your time today nice, and guys until next time happy brewing <laughs>